Hey guys, Rush from Local Knowledge here, and we're getting a lot of questions. You know, what rods and reels do we use here in Key West, South Florida on our day in, day out fishing? Most of my rods and reels and my setups I'm gonna use on the boat are gonna vary between a 2,500 size reel to a 6,500 size reel. You know, that's gonna give you the full capacity and the drag you're gonna need to catch pretty much any fish we catch down here in the Keys. Like this rod right here, this is a 2500 series loaded with 20 pound braid on a battalion light action spinning rod. This rod and reel setup I'm going to use mostly for small patch reef fishing and catching bait using sabiki rigs, herring, stuff like that. This is going to be my light action rod, something quick I can grab, tie something on, you know, no muss, no fuss. My next rod and reel setup here is going to be the 4500 Spin Fisher on a Carnage 15 to 30 pound class rod. This rod is going to be my everyday yellowtail rod, but you could also cast this rod, say permit fishing, works really good, it's got enough backbone, got enough spool capacity to catch some bigger fish. My next rod is going to be pretty similar to the last rod and reel, the 4500 with the 15 to 30 but it's just a, it's a small step up. It's a 5,500 or 6,500, whatever you prefer. Little more spool capacity, little more drag, little stiffer rod. This one's gonna be sail fishing, tuna fishing, drifting on some deep wrecks for some mutton snapper, just something with a little more backbone, a little more drag capacity. Then I like to have a couple conventional reels. And this, this one right here, this Torque 2,500, this you could do pretty much everything with we wanna do from bottom fishing to kite fishing to casting if you have to cast it, if you're you know, fishing on the flats for sharks, whatever you want to do, you could do with this size rod and reel. And those are the few basic rods I use down here when I'm running my charters and just fishing for fun. If you guys want to see any more of these, make a comment below and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.